In today's video, I'm going to be working on a Greeflex heat pump split system. Now, I recently came out here and diagnosed a leak at the air handler on the vapor line flare fitting. So I'm going to repair that flare fitting and get this system leak free. Now that I've got the refrigerant recovered, I'm going to go ahead and remove this flare fitting, get it cut out, and I'm going to reflare it so that way I know for sure it's got a good flare to it and it should be leak free going forward. Whenever you are flaring copper tubing, you want to inspect the copper and make sure that it's nice and round. And then you also want to deburr it so therefore you get a nice perfect flare every time. Now I've been using this Navac battery powered flaring tool for a couple of years now, and I really enjoy using it. It gives me confidence that I'm gonna get a perfect flare every single time, and not only that, especially when you're dealing with three quarter inch copper like I am today, it just makes it a breeze to flare. So what I'm doing here is adding just a little bit of nylog blue to the back side of the flare and on the threads. So the back side of the flare is going to allow less friction. So when I'm tightening it up, I don't have to wrench on it so much to get a tight connection. And then also I'm sealing the threads. So I think it's a great option to add nylog blue to any flare fitting. Normally I will torque down any flare fitting that I have, but because this is such a large diameter nut, I don't have a flare tool large enough to do that. So I'm just using the built-in torque wrench that I've got in my arms. <clears throat>
So the only proper way to charge a Greeflex system is to weigh in the full charge at the beginning. Now, of course, you can add some while it's running, but you cannot charge this by subcooling or superheat. You have to know the exact amount of refrigerant to weigh in. So if you read the directions in the manual, it'll tell you how much refrigerant comes pre-charged and how much line set that'll cover. So if you're beyond that line set length, it'll tell you how much to add per foot. So in my situation, I have 35 total feet and the factory charge only covers up to 25 feet. So I have to add 0.3 pounds of 410A to cover that extra 10 feet. So I know my full total charge is 9.5 pounds. And of course, do yourself a favor or any other future technician working on the system and write down what the total charge and line set length is on the equipment. Well, that's a wrap on this job. I hope you enjoyed it and you got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.